hello and welcome back and today i am going to show you how easily we can play ipl fantasy and the easy way and the better way to play the ipl fantasy let's go to this link fantasy.iplt20.com and here uh, by joining the fantasy you can win the exciting prizes or even you can get your one league and play with the, your friends and the, your relatives and the so on whoever you would like to first thing you need to register since i have already registered i'll go to the play fantasy league and here you can see at the bottom there are the few menus you need to know and before going to make a team you need to look at the rules carefully so at the rules this and the rule is simple you need to pick up 11 players from the different IPL teams within the 100 credits and you need to pick uh, one at least one wicket keeper and at least three batsmen and at least one all-rounders and at least three ballers and you can also have maximum of four wicket keepers maximum of six batsmen four all-rounders and maybe maximum of six ballers and you need to keep pick a captain and vice captain captain will get two times of your points and vice captain will get 1.5 times so you can pick a maximum of seven players from a single IPL team there is some change I think uh, in the last season there is limitation of six players and this season it was seven players and you can pick a maximum of four overseas players only and then looking at the transfer rules after the first game after the first game you will get 120 transfers and among them 110 for the league stages only so uh, you will get 110 transfers for the first 56 games and for the last four games you will get 10 transfers but in between of the league stage and knockout you will get free transfer as well so after the league stage you will you can restructure your team and then the last four games you will be allowed 10 free transfers so that's about the transfer limit and regarding captain and vice captain you can change unlimited time and uh one more thing regarding captain and vice captain you can change vice captain and captain in the every game and you must do it also because in the every game the captains and vice captain point will be multiplied by 2 and 1.5 respectively so don't forget to change the captain and vice captain before the every game start and this season we will have 10 double headers so on those days you need to change the vice captain and captain after the first game as well so you get more bonus or main benefits from the captain and vice captain as well so regarding league you will be automatically participate in a global IPL league and also your favorite teams league after creating the your team so and after that you can mul create multiple logs and leagues private leagues and invite people using the link or invite code and then you can play with friends you can see other people's as well so let's go to the home and here we will see a create team if you haven't created any yet but i already have created one team so there will be make transfer options for me and there will be my leagues i have joined and i have created as well so first let's look at the team And the maximum credit limit will be 100. And one more thing, in the football EPL Fantasy League, you you will see the team value changes over the time. But this is not going to happen for the IPL. So limit always be 100. Credit limit will always be constant, and it will be 100. And before picking team, you can watch 
the fixers so is you can see on the top this will be next match mm versus csk and if you click on the all matches you will see next matches and by scrolling down you can see full schedule of the ipl 2020 so before picking one more thing you need to keep in mind that which your team have two games or next game within a few days or very quickly like uh, here we see csk have second game before the KK, first game of kkr so if you plan to pick a uh, players then you must select at least three or four players from the csk team so that you can utilize your your transfer limit beautifully or you can make more use of your transfers like if you just pick two players for the csk at the first game and then you remove those two and then again in the next match of the csk you if you pick another two players or the the older people players you want to return then you will need to in best or you need to it use those two extra transfer results so it makes four transfers extra for you so if you do like this like uh, you have picked up four players for the csk for the first match and then hold them until the next match of the csk so there you don't need to make any changes for the csk so your transfers will be safe and which wherever you need to in use them you can utilize them so like this you can utilize your transfers and for the more maintenance you can pick up two or three players for the first match and then since those players uh, may be picking up the sunrisers either teams punjab teams and so on and hold the possible players from the csk and also you can hold some one or two players from the moment in scam as well like uh, if you pick four players from csk three players from the mi then it makes seven and you have still four options left so among four you can pick two or three from this second match and one or two from the third match so that in the every first three game you will have at least a one player or one or two player in your team already and after the first match just uh, change one or two players for the second game and then change the those player in the third game as well so if you see schedule you will have after the fourth match is between csk and rl and the fifth match is kkr versus mi so here if you see delhi capitals next game after the first game will be here that is match seven so in between those four games you can switch delhi capitals players and if you see csk schedule after the first game after then they have game on the match four and after the after that also uh, they have match number seven as well so if you hold csk players they'll you can utilize more and more transfer for your fantasy league similarly uh, mumbai has first game on september 19 which is the match number one and then match number five and after match number five they have match number 10 so in between those periods you can switch mumbai indians players as well and if you utilize your transfer more and more and get uh, more points and lead the fantasy league so you can win some exciting prizes and while picking up the players one more thing you can uh, keep in mind that while picking wicketkeeper most probably select the player who might go open or maybe 
play at number two, number three, number four. Uh, the player, the wicket keeper who might not play or maybe play down the order might not be as effective as the top order because top order players gets the higher priority in the batting department. So, as you can see, I have picked up Quinton de Kock and MS Tony also because um, CSK has three games very quickly from the um, then other teams. So. I want to keep him for the all three games. So I have selected two wicket keepers, and one more benefit is that uh, if you see in the point system, let me check uh, here, you will get per runs one point, per boundary, you will get one point bonus, per six seat, it will be two bonus point, half century bonus will be 0.8. And the century bonus will be 0.16. And if your batsman or all rounder or wicket keeper dismissed for the dog, you will get point get minus two points for the is dog out. So similarly in the bowling department, per wicket you will get 25 points. For four four wicket alls, you will get eight point extra bonus. For five wicket alls, it will be 16. And the for each made in over you will get eight points. So made in over also matters. Uh, and also one more thing, economy rate wise you can get bonus while bowling as well. Below the if your bowlers rounded economy rate is below four, you will get six. If this is between four and five, it will be plus four. If that is between 5 and 6, it will be plus 2. And if 9 to 10 runs, you will be minus 10. It will be minus 10. And if it was between 10 and 11, it will be minus 4. And if 11 and over, then it you will lose 6 points. So while picking up dollars, keep in mind that also. And for the batsman, except ballers, you will get strike rate bonus as well and for to be eligible for that strike rate person needs to play at least 10 balls now involving three players or more players from the fielding side points will be awarded only to the last two players involved in the run out and one more thing here is you won't get any point for the substitute player so uh, unless it was the concussion substitute you won't get any point for the substitute player whatever he does and when he takes cases or runouts or so whatsoever and also if the match day or match is cancelled then your transfer will return back and the, your team will be unchanged from the last time so this is how fantasy will work and then in the bowling department if a player takes cash it will be 8 point bonus if he's dumping or run out, first two will, and if run out is drawn between two players, then the thrower will get eight points, and the catcher or the um, mostly the it was keepers. If it was in the batsman in, then he will get four points. So this is fielding bonus, and others if captain is always already known. Two times vice captain will 1.5 and the, if the player is, is in the starting 11 then he will get four match point bonus so this is fantasy point system now let's go to the team so this is the bonus this is the team i have selected so far and as I already mentioned pick the batsman or the wicket keeper who most probably bat at the top of the order so you can get most benefit from the them if they fire and also, also one more thing is that while picking up the batsman try to pick the batsman who might bowl or used to bowl regularly for the team like the likes of Shane Watson 
is called mite or bowl here and there and around pins as well so no, not many there and not many options there but uh, some of the options you can pick from them and if you see ABD players here if he kept wicket then it will be a bonus for you he will bat he will keep because uh, as a keeper it was a great chance to grab one or two catches at least and also the stumping as well so try to pick those players and one more thing try to have as many all-rounders as possible you will need at least three batsmen at least three bowlers and at least one wicket keeper that makes seven and you have still four slot left so you can use four all-rounders as well if you can manage credits in the plan like this so also while picking up the all-rounders try to the try to pick players those players who will play in the playing level for the team and who has not injured before the game or maybe before the one or two games so you need to get updates from the ESPS, ESPN or Kid Buzz whatsoever about the availability of the player and also here you can might see uh, one icon if the player was injured or he was down something like that so while picking up those allowers do like this and while picking up the ballers try to pick ballers who might bat at the number six number seven or number eight also and uh, who might go for the lower economy even if he did, didn't pick any wicket he might go for the some less economy and he can cover up with his batting as well so if either go with the baller who will pick up two or three wickets at least you might think as you can see i have picked up rvs win rahul sahar and pure sevla because rvs will definitely bat at seven or eight maybe eight and pure sevla also, also will bat at number eight or maybe even higher position if uh, is a pinch hitter sometimes so pick some ballers like this and also one more thing you need to hold some credits if possible for the utilizing the utilizing the your transfer and holding the players from the one team like if i want to hold held hold ms Dhoni for the, the, the two games then i will and also i want uh, another players like uh rishabh pan Roy sarma kiel rahul which have higher credit trades then i will need to have at least uh, one or two credit in the bank if i didn't have credit left too much then i can't transport them so or also i can hold them also so keep in mind that as well so that's how you can manage your team and now time to go for the legs as i is the list my legs in the my team here would be displayed and in the my team legs i already in the global i am already in the moment is as my favorites and also i have joined as a fun fantasy team and also the one another who we play official league and here you can create a one one league and the number of teams maximum limit is 500 so you can't have more than 500 players in a one league and you can after creating league you will get here here is the seer link here you will get league code and you can invite those by providing those link to your friends and join ask them for a join and enjoy the game in fantasy 
with friends and can get supporters can get lovers and whatsoever so this is how you will, you can play fantasy and the prizes list is not out yet they will be out soon what exciting prizes will provide by IPL team or I mean in uh, IPL T20 and if you really eligible for that top positions you will get those prizes on your hand okay thank you that's all for today if anything you want to know more or maybe suggest me regarding this video or many comment will be appreciated i will try to do my best and i will be back soon with maybe another content so that's all for today thank you so much for watching my video i'll be back soon